Hi there. I'm Joe Dudek, president and founder of Keyhole Marketing. And I'm Shannon Jarek. I work for Keyhole as the assistant brand manager. And this is Metaphorically Speaking, a podcast that explores the mysterious side of marketing. Welcome to the first episode of Metaphorically Speaking. Ooh. Shannon and I are really excited to have this off the ground finally. Mm-hmm. We've talked about it for a long time. We as marketers, we just love that idea of a metaphor because what, what we love about it is just that it both means what it says and what it doesn't say. And so we really want to dive into that space of marketing that's a little bit more ambiguous, a little less linear, less analytical. We just love to explore that more uh, colorful sides of marketing that's less black and white. And so that's what we hope to explore here in the podcast. Totally. And we want to do that in kind of a different way. It's not going to be your 10 tips and tricks, if you will, um, where you kind of get in and out really quickly and then forget what you learned. <laughs> um, we know that it's not going to be a one size fits all approach for everyone either. And in the end, we really want it to be about even more than marketing. So mm-hmm. we're here to kind of build on the content that we already offer on our blog and our website, um, but really just add that kind of personal experience and story as we challenge each other and you to just look up during the day. So to unbury yourself from, you know, that linear analytical kind of thinking or mm-hmm. get away from the screen or work and really just seek the beauty and oddness in the gray space. Yeah, for sure. So the way we're going to structure these is we're going to package them into seasons where we're not bumping from one topic to the next to the next, but we're all grouped into a, an overarching conversation or overarching topic. So you'll see that in the five or six episodes per season and hopefully gives you a chance to really explore something on a deeper level, spend some time mulling it over, thinking through it, and not just bumping around from one topic to the next. And we're going to structure these in a certain movement. We, we The way we try to work on a, on a daily basis is... You know, don't just open your laptop and just plow through. We, we, we try to start our days off with a sense of reflection and silence, and we hope to do that with these podcasts too. So it could be opening with a quote or a, a story, something to help f- sort of frame the conversation a little bit and just get our minds in the right space. And yeah, then, we think we do better work when we approach it like yeah, that. versus just plow right through into mm-hmm. the content. And then we'll, we'll do the inspiration part, which is really the meat of the podcast. And then we'll hopefully close each one with a sense of motion. So now that you've heard a lot of things, what should you go do with this? Or, you know, is there something to contemplate as you, as you leave? And it won't always just be the two of us on this podcast, we don't think. Hopefully, at least the two of us. There might be some more. <laughs> but we'd like to maybe add some some interviews with entrepreneurs like we've done on our blog. We hope to maybe add some other people who work at Keyhole, um, maybe some partners that we link arms with on different projects or any Keyhole clients as well who might be interested in joining us. So we'll, we'll get there eventually. Yeah. But for now, you just got the two of us. <laughs> Couldn't find uh-huh. bad space Done, done, done. So... Maybe just get to know, since it is just the two of us, well, get to know us a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. Shannon, why don't you just start with just a general description of who you are and like what makes you who you are. <laughs> and uh, then give us like two fun facts about you at the end. Totally. Okay. Happy to. Um, so I have been, well, to start, I've been working at Keyhole for a year now, which is awesome. Wow. Crazy. Time flew. Um, I just graduated from Olivet Nazarene in December of 2017. So I'm making my way in the world <laughs> at this <laughs> point. Um, I am Midwest born and raised. I come from central Illinois, and I'm excited to no longer be in central Illinois. <laughs> but we're working on that. Yes. Um, I'm one of six kids. I come from a big family, and I absolutely love it. I love my parents and my siblings. And in my free time, I am spending time outdoors as much as I possibly can. I absolutely love uh, just being outside and enjoying nature. And I love listening to music, love driving. Um, And you want two fun facts. Two fun facts. I can type 95 words per minute. Wow. Um, I was about to say per hour. And I was like, that's so slow. Um, Yeah, so that's kind of fun. And um, I have... Kind of fun. Kind of fun, yeah. (laughs) It's actually probably sad, but... um, And then I actually acted for most of my life, so it's fun to be back in front of a microphone again. Dramatic. Yes, Mm. yes. Explains a lot. It does. (laughs) I apologize. No worries. Yeah, so for me, I've worked in communications for 20-plus years, started off in public relations in Chicago, 
have tried to forget that stage of life mm. after a long, grueling time in that industry. The dark days of public relations. Yes. <laughs> then moved to Indiana and then stepped into, mar- into marketing at that point. 2012, um, started Keyhole Marketing kind of out of necessity, um, l- lost a job, and then thought I was just going to look for a regular marketing gig at another cube filled office complex and uh, just picked no up way. a couple clients and just said, I think I kind of like doing yep. this thing. So stuck with it for the last seven years and love it. I'm married. My wife's name is Lindsay and we have a five-year-old son named Quinn and we have a dog named Rudy and we are all Notre Dame fans. Including the dog. Of course. Yeah, he started it. <laughs> um, and in a few months, we're going to relocate to Denver. My wife's job has moved her out there and we're going to set up Keyhole out there. So we're excited about that. All right. Two interesting facts about me. I don't know if this is interesting, but it is a fact. I did work at three different companies that had the letter I used quite a bit in their names. Mm -hmm. One was IMMI, IPC, and IRI. Wow. That is a lot of I's. Yes. Were they very selfish companies (laughs) or? (laughs) Yes. There's no I in team left because they took them off. Um. Also, more interesting is I can do a great, well, I don't know if great, but I can do mm-hmm. an impersonation of Christopher Walken. A friend of mine tells me this after I had a couple drinks in me, I can uh, do a good Christopher Walken impersonation. Wow. So we're not going to get one today, are we? No, I'm fairly sober at this point. <laughs> Another time then, hopefully. But, I, but if I try. Stay tuned. <laughs> see, if I try, it doesn't come out good. <laughs> The other impersonation I can do, I can do some sort of bird. I can do a bird sound. And by some sort of bird, do we have a... Oh. Hey, that wasn't bad. Yeah, so I don't know what that what is. What species is this? Well, now we have it on the podcast. People can hear it. Okay. And it'll go viral and we'll get it right. Please design. email us yes. what the species of Perfect. this bird call is. <laughs> and I have no idea how I discovered that little trick, but I, I did. <laughs> so that's more about us. Hopefully you're not scared away by our interesting or not interesting facts about us. Or bird calls. Bird calls as mm. well, yeah. <laughs> um, before we sign off, I just wanted to give a special thanks to a few people, obviously to Shannon for being my co-host. I, I'm grateful for that and um, just being a part of this whole thing. For Lindsay and Quinn, just giving me the time away from the house to, to put this thing together, pr- prepare it, and actually record it. My nephew, Drew, he did the music that you heard at the beginning of the podcast. Uh, he goes to the Berkeley College of Music in Boston, and um, I think he's doing music engineering out there. So he did this by himself. It was great. Great job. Yeah. Um, to Jenny Todd, who did the design, the logo for the for the podcast, to Ricky Lewis, who is editing the podcast, and to Cameron, who really didn't do anything with the podcast, but she um, works out for me in Colorado and just supports me in a lot of different ways in the business. So I'm grateful for, for her support as well. So that's it. We hopefully will come back for season one, and we're excited to get started. Mm-hmm.